Hello. I'm Jane Klebb, leader of the Bold Nebraska Group. I didn't have time to go back and get my written speech, so I have a few notes uh, on my iPhone. I'll try to remember most of it. My first message is to President Obama. I mean, he is the main decision maker. We know that the staff at the State Department work every day to make sure that this process is fair. We don't think it's been fair so far, and there are a few things that we want to see done differently. But to President Obama, our message is really clear. He asked us to be the change we want to see in this world. His whole campaign revolved around citizens being the change we want to see. That is exactly what every single person standing is doing. And we're telling President Obama, it's your turn. It's your turn to be the change that you've talked about in your 2008 race. It's your turn to be the change you've talked about in your Nagel address. And it's your turn to be the change that you said to KETV television in Omaha when they got an opportunity to visit with you in your White House. You told them that Nebraskans are not going to take a few thousand jobs if that means risking our water and the future of our ag land. We're asking you to honor those words. We know that these are good jobs for families. There is no doubt about that. But what TransCanada then puts through that pipeline is not good for our families. And that is not fair. They are good jobs for two years, and then we assume the risk for the rest of our lives. And that is not okay. The water analysis in the EIS is not sufficient. There has not been a worst case scenario spill analysis on the Ogallala Aquifer, the Platte River, the Niobrara River, the countless family wells. We want to see that proper water analysis done. There has never been a landowner rights analysis done. The one contract that actually stands on this project is between the landowners whose families homesteaded the very land that a foreign corporation is about to take. And you have not done an analysis on what that means for those landowners. Their property will mean less value. When a spill happens, they will not be able to sell that land. This is ag land. And just like those folks in Arkansas, we can't just sell our land or sell the home back to Exxon. We can't just sell our home back to TransCanada. This is land that's been in families' hands for over 100 years. And we don't take kindly to foreign corporations coming in and telling us that they're going to take it. So when your bulldozers try to cross our line in the state of Nebraska, every single person will be here saying no. Not in our land, not in our water, not in our country. Thank you.